Hello and welcome to this video on how to connect the Wi-Fi module and connect to the internet with the RSEC intruder alarm panel. In this case we will be using the CP20. For this you're going to need obviously a panel, your keypad, I'm going to be using the uh, virtual keypad on this one because uh, it's too lazy to put a cable between the two. <laughs> and, uh, you're going to need either the Wi-Fi module, you can get an Ethernet module, that's a different video, I'll, get, I'll cover that in a different video. Yeah, it's just going to need a Wi-Fi module, obviously the Wi-Fi password. And that is it really. Alright, so the first thing we need to do is power down the panel. Attempting to add any module onto an Orisec panel will cause the panel to blur. I've seen it done by apprentices, it is uh, a pain. So power down your panel then, it simply disconnects the power. You can do this by either pulling out this mains cable so that the bar's not connected. In this case, obviously, mine's not connected to the mains, so it doesn't really bother me, so I'm just going to plug that back in for now. But your, your alarm at home should have a fuse spur. You can just yank the fuse spur out, and that will do the trick. So I'd like to yank the fuse out the fuse spur. Don't yank the fuse spur out, that would be a disaster. <laughs> And disconnect one of the terminals on the back there. And the panel is dead as a dodo. So then what to do is, I'm just going to move my cable out of the way. You can see what I have a cable there. Let's look at the look where the uh, panel is going. It goes into CP2 module, which is located here. To get our module out, right, so now I have my module here. You can see there are four holes located on the edge. These four holes line up with these four holes you can see on the panel. Inside your box, you should find an antenna and two sets of connectors. You have the, uh, the ones for the wireless panel here. Um, in this case, this is a CP20, so this is the ones we're using this time. If we attach our connectors, you should end up with something looking like this. What you need to do is line this part up with the, uh, the pins, so nice in alignment, all, get a better angle on that, all the pins in alignment, so when you push it in, they should go nicely into the slots, and then just push down with your fingers on the two plastic connectors, the front of here, until you hear the clicks. That is now safely in place. I'm going to plug my USB cable in because I'm using the UDL software. But you guys are using the keypad, I'd imagine. I can find the end of it, which is there. Right, right. You're going to take your battery terminal, connect it, and just put something across for a kickstart here. Light comes on. You are good. Your keypad should be an hour light. So now we go back to our keypad and put in the engineer code. The default is one, two, three, four. And we need to scroll down to test and diagnostics. Hit tick. And scroll down to Wi Fi status and checks. Enter and it should scan for networks. Check that the network you're after is there, and if it is, we are laughing. So we'll hit enter again, and this should now. When I, when I say hit enter, I mean hit tick. <laughs> so I forget you guys are using the keypad. If you hear me say enter, I mean tick. 
And that should now serve the uh, the SSID name for the Wi-Fi into the system. So if we come out then by going back with this back arrow here, and back again. Now we need to scroll down to the programming up sorry, up to the programming menu and hit tick. Go down to COM modules. And tick again. We're using Wi Fi. Let's go down to Wi Fi settings. And go this time, go across with the right arrow. As you can see, because we selected it earlier, it has saved the Wi-Fi name into there. So if we go down now to password, uh, press across and, and enter your password. You enter in the password using the keypad. Once you've got your password typed in, you should have your Wi-Fi and password, and hit the back arrow, hit it again, all the way back to programming menu. Now if we go down to test and diagnostics, down to Wi-Fi status and checks. Um, okay, so I've discovered now that using the uh, UDL software doesn't give you the option of connecting to the Wi-Fi. So I've had to wire in a keypad. The only one I've got is this one here, which you just about see it says connect if I hold it on the side there. So if we hit the tick on connect. Should. Yeah, you can see it's got a loading icon there. There's nothing up there. It does take a minute or two. Eventually the word connect will change to disconnect. Once it says disconnect, that's you connected. There we go. You are connected. I'll change back to the UDL so I can get you out of the menu. I'll hit the back button. Keep going and hit log off. That is you connected to the Wi Fi. If you have any questions, please like and subscribe. We'll put another video up soon on how to connect the app and how to change the Wi Fi. Thank you for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day. You're always connected to the Wi Fi because you have your Wi Fi marker just there.